What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another less than five minute gear review and in this video we're going to be going over a couple of strobes that are on the market right now and when it comes to strobes there are a lot of applications from law enforcement, military, firefighting, search and rescue, I mean the list goes on um, to even survival and preparedness and all of that so uh, do take into consideration although most of them that you're seeing right now in front of you are military kind of mindset and law enforcement and preparedness and survival they do have strobes that are out there that do come in like black like this Hellstar 6 comes in black that can be applied to more than just a tactical setting. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, when it comes to the functions of these strobes and the different variations of them, I'm not gonna get too in depth, but I do want you to know that there are a lot of different configurations out there where you can get uh, green, blue, red, and IR, and white. Um, I'll briefly touch base on a couple of those things with the independent strobes, uh, but do take that into consideration. And I do apologize in advance. I did want to do the Hellstar 5 and 4 and then also a couple of the CJ strobes that are out there that are issued, uh, but I couldn't get my hands on them. I'm going to do a review in the future so that way you guys can see what those look like in comparison to like the Hellstar 6. So with that said, I'm going to jump right into what I have on the table. And first and foremost, we have kind of the standard issue MS2000 strobe marker light. And this thing is going to cost you about 50 bucks to 150 bucks, depending on where you're getting it from. eBay is going to be on the lower end because you can find them used real cheap. And then you can find a couple that are on, uh, on a couple different websites that are going to be around 100 to $150. So keep that in mind. When it comes to the features, uh, I took the safety kind of latch cover that was on this. It's just a metal wire that goes over this uh, on and off switch uh, to prevent it from ac from accidentally getting turned on. Um, just personal preference for how I have it set up because I have it set up in this SOE pouch and it holds batteries and the strobe, but when you have that safety latch on there, you can't uh, manipulate that switch as easily uh, when turning it on and off. With that said, uh, when it comes to this strobe, it has a white strobe, a blue strobe, and an IR strobe. Uh, when you're looking at this right off the bat, the black strobe is going to be with this cover on, or the, white, the IR strobe, I should say black. The IR strobe is with this cover on, the black cover on, and then when you flip this back, you have your white strobe setting. And then when you pull this entire thing down into the actual uh, channel, I guess you could say, you have your blue strobe, so you can see it in there right there. So that's what this looks like. Really simple design, really simple setup. Uh, I put Velcro on the back of mine just because it's easy to be able to Velcro onto different surfaces, whether it's my helmet or a vehicle um, or being able to tie it down to certain things, having that extra Velcro and to help secure it to whatever I need it to do uh, really makes a difference. Uh, when it comes to this, I prefer using this for more like vehicle stuff or if I'm trying to signal like aircraft because it does have a huge signature. It's really easy to see for aircraft and for everybody on the ground. Um, and I've, from everything that I know, I've known dudes that have been able to uh, see that strobe all the way out to like seven and a half miles or so. Uh, so uh, with that said, that's your, going to be your standard issue strobe from the military. And then you have your core survival Hellstar six, and then your SNS precision Manta. Uh, so for the core survival, this is going to be the 640-01, which is going to be your green and IR, uh, with also a white strobe on it. So you have two different settings up here at the top. You have your alpha and your bravo. Your alpha is going to be all your green settings. So you have solid green and then solid green with a white IR or with a white strobe. And then you have your IR settings, which is going to be a low and then a high. So that's what that looks like. I understand you can't see the IR on this right now, but uh, do know that it is there. The cool thing with the Hellstar is, is they do come in a, a variation of colors and settings to where you can have... Uh, green, blue, red, and then your IR and your white. And uh, it comes in different uh, different setups to where you can have like a red with a red and white, and then uh, also a blue and then a, a, bl a blue and white. So it'd be red solid and then red solid with a white blinking strobe and then same with a the blue. Uh, it also comes in green that way. And then they have some variations where you can have the IR settings and all of that in there. So. Uh, do take that into consideration. These things are awesome for training scenarios too when you're doing like red on blue. Um, so that way you can identify who's who in training scenarios, uh, especially for guys that are like watching overhead and critiquing and uh, giving instructions and all of that. It's awesome for that setting as well as everything jumping in airborne ops. So I'm not gonna get into that because that's a whole thing on its own, but do know that this has a lot of features and it is awesome. When it comes to tie downs too, real quick, 
Uh, it's got these channels and holes on the sides to, so that way it's really easy to uh, set up and tie it down to your equipment, especially when running on this on a helmet. Uh, you just run that 225 cord straight through there and tie down and you're good to go. And then last but not least, we have the uh, SNS Manta. This is the 0015 uh, variation. So this is going to be uh, two IR settings, a high and a low, and then you also have a solid green and then a solid green with a uh, white strobe. So turning this on, it buzzes, you're on that first IR setting, you hit these side buttons and you're on your second setting and then you hit them again, you're on your solid green and then your solid green with your white strobe. So that's what they all look like. Uh, do take into consideration that the SNS Precision uh, Manta strobe is going to be specific to green, white, and IR. It doesn't come in any colors that I've seen, uh, but they also do have a couple of other little kind of um, strip lights and strobes that you can set up on your helmet, which are awesome, and that kind of offsets this, so that way you can have this for more like airborne ops, and then you can have uh, their... Uh, there are other kind of strip lights that you can just run on the helmet for like your blue on red and so on. And I mean, they have a whole slew of colors that you can pick from to be able to uh, uh, mark you as an individual and be able to use for a bunch of different applications. So although they don't have this with multiple colors, they do have some other options for colored setting stuff. Uh, but with that being said, um, your Hellstar is going to cost you about 195 bucks, and then your Manta strobe is going to cost you about 165 to 215 It just depends on the configuration. So uh, take that all into consideration. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. We'll answer any questions that you have. And then uh, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll, t we'll see you next time.